In this video we're going to talk about how to structure your WordPress project with Git and uh, more specifically we're going to talk about what to commit and especially what not to commit. And to sum it up, you need to keep every theme and plugin you work on in its own Git repository. The reason I'm saying this is because each theme and plugin is its own entity and logically it just makes a lot more sense to have it in its own Git repository and it's going to make your life easier. Um, I've seen different ways that people have structured the WordPress installs with Git and the most common I've seen is people committing the whole WordPress installation to one Git repository and that approach is just fundamentally broken and it's really not your concern to keep WordPress under version control because it's already done by someone else so it doesn't really give you any benefits I wrote an article about this on uh, the WP Tavern and if you want to check it out just uh, Google uh, Git and WordPress I think is one of the first results on Google and I talk about it here how you need to treat your WordPress plugins and theme with respect so just one more time you need to keep all of your plugins and themes in their own separate repositories you need to treat them as separate entities just like WordPress does so that's all for this video thanks for watching Bye.